Stitches here. Welcome to my channel where together we sew. If you're brand new here, I'm glad to have you here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I love seeing all of you here in your comments down below. So today I've got a really quick, um, fun thing to show you guys. I got my next pastry shop quilt box of treats. Yay! I love opening the mailbox and getting something like this instead of bills. So <laughs> this is what came in my mail this morning. So I'm going to get this open and show you guys what's inside. Um, for all of you that have been watching me, I've been opening this for almost a year now. Um, this is from Pastry Shop Quilts. It's out of Texas here in the United States. And it's um, from a small company um, run by a lady named Sherry. And she does a great job curating these boxes. I do get this for review, but the opinions are my own. Um, but she uses... A lot of Moda fabrics, so I typically usually love the box, and she does a really great job of curating and making everything co cohesive in the box. So, without further ado, let's get this open and see what's inside this month. Okay, so the Box of Treats comes in this pretty pink little box every month, and it is shut with a little sticker. So, as you can see, I have not opened it yet. Put my knife away there before I get cut with it. <laughs> All right, here we go. So she always closes it up with tissue paper. And let's open that up. Oh, very nice. Okay, so right on top, I see a bottle of Best Press, which I love, love Best Press. So I'm happy to have this. This one is in the Lavender Fields scent. And this is luckily one of the scents that I really like. So I'm excited to have this one. There's a couple of scents that I don't like just because they give me a headache, but this isn't one of them. So yay for that. Okay, let's see what else is in here. We've got, she calls these cake pops. They're so cute. It's usually the fabric that goes along with the project. And then there's a pencil in here. It says, today I'm feeling too creative for clean. <laughs> That's every day, isn't it? I'd rather be uh, sewing than cleaning. And then there's a little lollipop in here, which that will definitely go to one of my kids. Um, she also threw a mini charm of the Flower Farm by Bunny Hill Designs. Very pretty. I love this fabric. Um, it's pinks and reds and grays and creams. So cute little line. And then looks like we have a charm pack of Isabel by Minnick and Simpson. And if you don't know Minnick and Simpson, they do a lot of the red, white, and blue. Um, that's pretty much what they do. So there's another red, white, and blue line by them. And the nice thing about their lines is that they kind of all mix together since they do red, white, and blue all the time. And then this is their new wovens that they just released. So it looks like we got a charm pack of wovens and a charm pack of prints. And then there's a spool of Mettler silk finish cotton thread in this pretty blue color. And then there is some accompanying fabric. So that's really nice. And I'm not sure what the project is supposed to be because it looks like she may have forgotten to put, um, the pattern in here. So I'll just contact her. I know, um, she has never forgotten that before, so I'm sure it was just a mistake and it's not a big deal. So I won't be able to show you what the pattern is intended to be for this month, but that's okay. We're all human. We make mistakes, but these little cake pops, when she includes this, it's usually something to go along with, um, the fabric included and the pattern. So this might be like an accent fabric or a binding or something like that but I think it's really cute how she makes it look like a little lollipop so this is the box for this month now if I get a hold of the pattern I will come back and I will show you guys the pattern at another time but I'm sure this is gonna make a beautiful quilt I love 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 this blue and this fabric is super soft I, w I wish there was like vision like through the <laughs> video where you guys could feel this because it's really really soft and this is a Moda um, fabric line so I will contact her for the pattern and if I get it, I will show you guys and um, at a different time and let you see what it's gonna be, but great box. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick update here. 
I know I showed you the box and I was missing my pattern and she always puts a letter in too and that wasn't in there either. So I contacted her and she got back to me like that. She's amazing at customer service. So for hopefully your box um, wasn't missing anything, but if it is, she will take care of you right away. So um, I'll read you the letter that's normally in there. It says treat box number eight. Fresh start. Welcome to treat box number eight. Fresh start for the new year. It's the start of a new year for new beginnings featuring Minnick and Simpson's Isabel collection, Isabella collection. The collection features classic blues, reds, and beige prints. For something a little different, I've mixed cottons and wovens for an interesting combination of prints. For the background fabric, I use Sweetwater's Renew print. It's a clean, crisp, white-on-white -white dotted print, perfect for a fresh start. To help give your woven charms a little more body, I've included a bottle of Lavender Best Press. There's also a cake pop with some additional 10-inch squares to help you with your piecing of the quilt. I also included a quilty pencil for you to jot notes to keep yourself organized throughout the year. As always, a spool of silk finish thread for your binding is included. Your mini charm is not needed for a quilt, for the quilt project, but is Bunny Hill's The Flower Farm Collection. The collection could be perfect for a February Valentine's quilt. Here's to a fresh start for 2023. So, um, let me grab, grab the box really quick and I'll open this guy back up. So this is the mini charm she was talking about in her little note and you could make like a little charm pack mini charm pack bag or a mug rug or something fun to give to somebody for valentine's day so that's what she was talking about so um here is what the quilt is going to look like it's called fresh start and it is stars and pinwheels which is like perfect for me <laughs> and it looks like it's going to finish at 60 by 60. so there's the front that quilt is so cute. Look at it on her quilt ladder. And then the back, like she said in the letter, you need one Isabella charm pack, one Isabella woven charm pack, um, two 10 inch squares, which she put in this little cake pop, which I think this is the cutest thing. I love how she wraps that. Um, a half a yard of blue border fabric, which is this fabric, so gorgeous. And then you need to bring two and two two and two thirds yards of background fabric, um, your binding and your backing. So um, we've got the majority of what we need to do to make the project. We just have to bring some background fabric, which most of us have in our stash. <laughs> so um, again, this is available on her website. I will link it down below. Um, it is a six week subscription. So you don't get one every month, you get one every six weeks. And also, if you would like to try out this box, she also has a, um, where you can purchase a one-off box for a little bit higher of cost than the subscription. I think it's $5 or so more, but if you would just like to try it and not commit to the sub subscription, you can go ahead and do that. So go ahead and try her out. She does a great job. Like I said, she's super responsive with customer service, obviously, because I let her know that I was missing the pattern and the intro letter and she got it to me like that before I even had a chance to really start putting the video together to upload it <laughs> for you guys to see. So that is great customer service in my mind. All right guys, we'll take care and I will see you soon. Bye.